Good morning, traders. Good morning. Why am I crying this morning? Well, uh, I wasn't exactly right yesterday, but I wasn't exactly wrong either. So we're going to get into the charts this morning and see uh, see what's going on. Yesterday, I put out a video, my bold prediction, and that's what you get for making bold predictions. Uh, you fail. You fail miserably. Listen, I don't know. I don't know to be honest with you guys. I, I don't. I, I'm not a. I'm not a genie, and no, no technical analyst is. We can only see what we're seeing and uh, make guesses as to what we think is going to happen. So let me show you what I was looking at yesterday and then uh, show you what I'm looking at today and, and what what's going on. Um, we're going to at least give you an update here and explain to you why this area of the of the of the of the chart is completely uh, scary it's dangerous and uh, but we are coming to a head and you need to be aware of it and so yesterday's warning was was uh, warranted and good uh, just uh, trying to put a time on it is uh, is a little bit more difficult and uh, I'll probably stay away from putting a time on it at least uh, in the future but uh, don't tune out because I've still got important information to give you we are looking at the btc chart this morning and the ltc chart but before i get going into the charts just want to say i'm not a financial advisor i'm not here to give you financial advice i'm telling you what i'm seeing in the market what i think buyers and sellers are doing uh, with their money i'm not trying to help you uh, spend yours necessarily but if uh, this information helps you fantastic all right well we're looking at uh, looking at BTC and LTC let me just show you what everybody else every other analyst is seeing and what we know about okay we know that price took a big dive okay and as price took a big dive price is actually going to come up and close this gap okay and that's exactly what it's done we're, we're currently making uh, either a corrective wave or a one wave up to and we're going to get a, la a later video as to what these things could be but right now uh, my primary count that this is a one wave okay now uh, we've come up and we have closed the gap. We have hit this bottom line right here. That's what this red line is right here. Um, as I as I take a couple of other points uh, along along this congestion zone, what I can begin to see is that there are major areas of support and resistance. What we call support and resistance. Okay, um, and these are areas where price was bouncing off of these lines and so you can see all of these little areas where, where we tagged and bounced tagged and bounced okay now uh, when we were going through this area uh, right here you can see how it narrowed to this consolidation area and this was a big liquidity zone where there's buying and selling and the market makers are very aware of this zone and what they're gonna do is they're gonna come back to this zone and they're gonna tag it now they may go through it and come out they may come short of it and come out there's all kinds of tricks that they do but they know, the market makers know that we know, they know that we know <laughs> that we're coming up to there. So what they're doing, what they do uh, repetitively is that as we approach it, they create indecision. And that's exactly where we are. We're in place of indecision uh, where there are a lot of people taking bets right now that uh, this is going down. If I pulled up the BTC shorts chart, it's going through the roof. And the longs are just kind of sitting still. They're a little nervous and scared of this juncture. It's, they're just kind of going sideways because uh, it, it is right to be scared right now. You do not want to be taking a long position at this stage because uh, even though while it might go up a little bit, it is completely a risky trade. It's too risky. We are going to come into this zone. We're going to correct at some level, some substantial level and that is the area to be thinking about a buy, uh, a buy in that time but right now this is no time to be thinking about a buy for any long-term trade if you're day trading or scalp trading and you know what you're doing that's fine uh, but even then it, this is a risky area in that time of the market because uh, because the market makers are creating a lot of up and down uh, movement here and I'm going to show you that here in just a minute so here's what we know we know that price is going to come into this zone most likely okay it's threatening to we expect it to uh, it could be today it could be tomorrow it's looking very close in the charts so uh, I thought it would go up faster yesterday um, I really thought you know you, you know how price would be moving then all of a sudden you'll just get these candles that just boom I was expecting some kind of a candle like that uh, potentially um, but uh, that's what I was kind of looking for yesterday and so let me just say that if you see a candle just boom into this area just this big huge candle you need to be thinking of <coughs> excuse me exiting your position 
or at least not you. Listen, I'm going to be exiting my position when I see a, a big spike, okay? So when, I be lo when I'm looking for a big spike to the upside, uh, I'm going to be looking on the, on the lower time frames, the 15-minute, the 5-minute chart, looking for a divergence, and I'm going to exit my position at the top of that thing because most likely that's going to be a stop punch to the high. Um, and then uh, what it's going to do is create stops for all. We've got this huge... We've got this huge chart of shorts right now. And so basically what happens is if, if you've taken a short position in this zone right here, okay, uh, if you, uh, there are lots of people that were taking shorts here. There are lots of people that were taking shorts here. They're thinking this is where price is going to end. See this structure zone right here? Lots of people uh, were, were taking up short positions. Um, right along all in all in here and so if you've taken short positions if price starts going against you you're going to set a stop right and that basically a stop punt is designed by the market makers to go and trigger those stops so that those short positions have to close and increase the buy orders basically so because to close the short trade you have to buy and so that'll that's basically what people call a short squeeze um, and so what happens is price ends up wicking or going up really fast uh, hitting all those stops uh, and then basically it comes back down because it becomes exhausted uh, so that's what you have to understand that's what I'm kind of looking for as a final stage of this uh, as this as this price comes along I'm looking for at some point a final push up to the upside where the stops are hit so uh, I'm looking for it man tension is building uh, the uh, it, it is mounting so I, I don't know what's going to happen but uh, that's what I'm expecting so let me tell you now okay so what what can we see then from an Elliott Wave perspective that might clue us in on how this might play out? Okay, uh, let's let's get into that a little bit and see if we can we can see anything. Okay, uh, let's go into the fifteen uh, not the fifteen minute chart that is way way too low. Let's try the three hour chart. Uh, there we go. That's a good place. Now you'll notice that I have this trend line drawn this this channel drawn here this expanding wedge uh, ascending expanding wedge. Now if I'm um, I ignored this wick because I look for the most touches. When I draw my lines, some people say, well, do you use the wicks or do you use the candle bodies? Well, what I do is I actually draw the line where I get the most touches of all the points. Okay? So I might even move this line up into here, uh, something like that. But uh, it's, it's really hard to get these points on there. They're close. <coughs> so it's, you really just have to say, okay, where's the where's the closest place to find the most touches? And so I've got a touch here. This one wicked through it. So that's a touch. Technically, you got a touch. We got three touches here. I could probably be a little bit more technical with that line, but it, you know, you get the idea. So that's the way I draw my trend lines. I hope that's helpful to you as as far as a rule. You'll see that uh, we had a one, two, a three, four, and and you know this could be. Five that could be a five wave and then we're coming down for a correction uh, not exactly sure uh, so this is really hard to count from an Elliott Wave perspective uh, it's supremely hard to count but uh, let me tell you what I think are some scenarios uh, what I think are some scenarios number one um, uh, that you know this this might indeed be a well well okay let me let me back up sorry I, sometimes I gotta collect my thoughts the this right here is really hard to count, and I'm not sure what it is. To be honest with you guys, I'm not, I mean, I know it's an expanding wedge, but how to count it and what wave we're in, I'm not sure. This could be the fifth wave. In fact, it probably is the, the fifth wave. Uh, that means we had a really, really weird fourth wave, and I don't, and I'm not sure what the fourth wave was. This could be the fourth wave, and then we're going up for one, two, this is three, four, five. Okay, that might be exactly what's happening. And so that, that, that's, a, that's one of my possibilities, um, so that this is actually right here uh, a one wave, followed by a two, and then we're going up for three, wherever that is. We'll come down for four, and we'll finish up for five. Now, remember, whenever we get up up in here uh, on this fifth wave, it could easily just you know do that spike and a couple of pushes up, and they call that four and five. And so you got to understand sometimes it finishes out, and it looks like three waves, but it's uh, it's the way they do it. Um, <clears throat> so if that's the case, uh, if that's the case, then we're looking at let me throw the fibs on it. If that's a one wave followed by a two. Then we're looking at a three wave coming up here into the uh, 6250 range, into this trend line up here. So we're going to be working our way up into there. Uh, is that a possibility? Absolutely, that's a possibility.
Well, what else is a possibility? Well, um, another possibility is that this is a uh, is a one wave. Though it doesn't look like it. It looks long and drawn out. Um, you know, one waves don't tend to be that way. So it's, it's really hard to tell. It's really, really hard to tell. So what do we do? Well, we, we sit aside. We sit back as traders. We do not enter where we do not know what the market is doing. We, we don't enter stupid trades when we know price is going to be coming down. You say, well, what if I miss out on this? That's called FOMO, guys. That's called fear of missing out. And that will kill your trading. That will kill you. Okay? So understand that. Entering the market now without knowing what's going on is very risky. If you want to enter, if you want, you wait for a substantial pullback that bounces. Okay? See how this pullback hit and it bounced off that trend line? This was your entry point right here. This is where you enter the market. You don't enter up here. You enter down here, okay? So we're at a place where it's hit, it's hit a, it's hit this line. It tried to break through. I called it a fake out, breakout yesterday, and that's exactly what happened. And price did come down, so I wasn't completely wrong. Um, but it's probably, it's probably going to either uh, continue up from here, and this could be a one, two, three, four, five, or that this five is done. This is actually one, two, three, four, five of a wave, and we're actually coming down for a correction. We could come down halfway here. We could come down all the way to this trend line. I can easily see something, something, you know, doing this, you know, down to this trend line, and then back up for a final, a final push. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, we're just guessing as to what might happen. But listen, traders don't really need to focus in on what is going to happen. They need to focus on what is happening, okay? Uh, I am preparing myself for potential targets and potential uh, scenarios, and that's why we talk about, okay, what might happen. But at the end of the day, we're not genies, and we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know what's happening. So here I've got a trend line here that I drew. Uh, why did I draw that there? Because if I get price coming down here and I get a bounce off of that, that uh, – that's a good uh, that's a good place to possibly enter a trade, uh, you know, a, sh a very short term scalp trade uh, for an up move. Um, but uh, that's that's a super super risky place. That's if you're day trading and you know what you're doing. Uh, if you're not day trading, then you're waiting for a more substantial bounce off a more major uh, support like this line right here. So if price comes back down to this line and it gives you a good wick and a good bounce, you might consider. Uh, you might consider trading it. Now, let me just give you some thoughts about trading against that trend line. I want you to notice something. Uh, when this price came down and touched this trend line, what did it do? It bounced immediately, and it came back down and touched it again, and then it went up. Price came down, touched the line. It bounced immediately, came back and touched the line, and then it went up. Price came down, touched immediately, came back up, bounced immediately, came touched again, bounced, touched again, and then went up. You'll notice that price will hit it and then touch again and then go up. So when do you want to be a buyer? When do you want to be uh, trading that? You want to trade that on the second bounce, not the first one. Okay, so what I would suggest is when you see price coming down, wait for confirmation on the bounce. If it comes back down to the line, it bounces again. There's your entry point. That's what we're looking at. That is a, a perfect example of my one-two trade. Okay, this would be a one, that's a two, and then we go up from there. This is a one, that's a two, we go up from there. Okay, this is a one, that's a two, we go up from there. That's an AB, way, AB trade or a one-two trade, and that's a fantastic entry point. That's what you want to be thinking about. So if you're wanting to trade in this environment, I don't I don't recommend it, but if you want to uh, do some small trading in this environment, that's the way you're thinking about it, okay? Uh, so let's go in, let, let's zoom in here. Let me show you why from an Elliott perspective, this is a, a place of indecision. Let's go to the one hour chart and see if we can see something. All right, um, what we understand is that this could be, we, we're looking for an ABC correction in, in, the, uh, in the opposite way of the trend, okay? You'll notice here you've got ABC, right? Uh, and then you go up for five waves, and then you've got ABC. So the question is, is that ABC done? Or is this a larger ABC? Um, which looks like that may be playing out. We're not, not sure the way this is looking right, we're making right now. Is this an ABC uh, like that? Or is it even something like this? You know, is there any structure down there that would support such a thing? Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the, here's this line right here is, could be structure to support that. Um, this line down here is structure for that. So there's all kinds of uh, all kinds of support down here. So we don't know what's going on. So we have to be ready for that scenario. That so this ABC, if it's finished, that means we're going up for one, 
two, three, four, five, right? So if this if this A B C is done, that means we're going up for one. It's followed by a one, two, three, four, five. Let me get my fibs off this chart so it becomes a little clearer. See all these lines can get you crazy if you're not careful. So yeah, is this a is this a one two wave and we're going up? Um yeah, I don't know. Is this the one two wave? And then we're going to have one, two again, you know, which is the one, two of the third. Uh, so yeah, these are lots of scenarios. This looks, this looks an awful lot like a one, two, but it's at the end of the wave. So it looks like a fifth wave. And that's why, that's what scares me a little bit. And so I'm actually looking at LTC right now. It's, it's going down a bit. Um, I'm just looking at the price. Let me go over to the LTC chart and take a peek at it. You got to remember, I'm a trader as well as a YouTuber, so uh, we I want to pay attention to prices. It's coming down. So we, it came down. It, it bounced. It had a little bit of a, a bounce back, but it, now it's, it's it's starting. It got a nice uh, black candle there on my chart. It's a red candle basically. So you got to watch price right here. What's it doing? So here here we have ABC, right? So here's the place of indecision. Uh, what's this? What's this happening? Is that is that a completed? So is this five waves? So is this uh, one, two, and then this is the beginning of the third wave. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's a possibility. Or is this going to be a bigger ABC? Um, like so. A, B, C. Or is this the, uh, yeah, not A, B, C, D, E, but you get it. Or is this the beginning of a one, two? This looks very three wave so that, you know, that tells me it, we're corrective. So yeah, I'm thinking that this is actually going up from here. That's, that's my bias right now. I'm, I'm still looking for price to go up into those zones. And so I'm just looking at the LTC chart and the BTC chart to see if I can figure out what's happening. And, and yeah, and here we have kind of a you know, fake out to the downside. And you know, there's a bounce back. So we, we'll watch price there. You got to be careful watching price on the lower time frames. There's all kinds of oscillating movement. Just sometimes it's just good just to step back and look at the big picture. So yeah, I can see a scenario where we come down and touch here and we go up. I can also see a scenario where we just have a small pullback and then we go up. Uh, we go up really, really fast, and that's what I'm kind of looking for uh, today. So who knows what's going to happen? We have to sit back and watch and wait. So again, uh, let's talk about trading in this environment as well. You've got to be really careful about trading in this environment. What I would suggest, if you want to trade LTC, uh, here's the trick to LTC. This is the this this is the pattern. Okay, this is this is all she does. Uh, and, and if you learn to do it, you can, you can really learn to be a scalp trader, even in a bear market. Okay, so what 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 LTC will do in, on a, in a downtrend, you, you'll see what it'll do. It'll come down really fast. I mean, just one one strong push, boom. Okay, uh, you will also notice that it does that second touch thing. It'll come up and come back down. There's your entry point. That's what you want to do. So when it comes and bounces, comes back up and then, bounce, and then bounces down again, there's your entry point. Ride it up for a couple of dollars. Uh, count your waves. Uh, don't be greedy and jump out. Wait for the next pull down because it'll come down. You need to be drawing structure lines along the way uh, so that uh, you, know, you can see different areas of structure that are being formed. Okay. So we have all kinds of structure over here, guys. Uh, so if if I were trading this uh, here we got a definite uh, structure zone right there this is uh, price that's a, that's a big deal zone right there uh, we got a good bounce off of it you see the bounce here we got the bounce here we've got the bounce here that's a, that's a really strong area of structure so that's what's telling me we're probably going up from here but if we're hitting the two touch we've got one we might come back down to touch again and then we're off to the races that's kind of what I'm looking for uh, if you're thinking about trading that you might want to draw this line on your chart watch it come down if you get a bounce here that's a good entry point you're off to the races because that's a one two uh, trade if it breaks that structure line you're going down to the next structure support okay and the next one is down here at 67 guys uh, 66 uh, well 67 technically this one right here is the next line um, let's see if I can get my chart here there we go so if we break through this structure zone you know we're coming to the next one okay so understand that understand that that's the way the market's gonna move so it, it might come down to this area I don't know it might if it stops here and bounces great uh, if it here's a little here's a little price area right here it could bounce off of that there's all kinds of places it could bounce uh, from an Elliott perspective uh, we've got a one two three four five 
Okay, we should be coming up for three, and then one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Uh, or this is a three wave. This is this is A, B, C. It's just really hard to tell in this environment, guys. It's just really hard to know. We're not going to be able to know until after the fact. So we need to really watch these support areas of support and resistance. Watch for breaks so that we can. Uh, validate or invalidate our counts. Finally, let's, let me just look at a couple price targets for BTC and uh, for the different scenarios, okay, and LTC. So let's start with LTC since I'm on the chart. If this is a 1-2 and we're going up for going up for 3 or an ABC, let me give you some price targets for that. Uh, that would be here. We'll go A to B right there. Okay, we've got a, if it's a, just an ABC correction, we've got a, we've got eighty dollars. Uh, if this is a three wave coming up, we've got eighty three dollars. It's going to have a bit of a correction and continue on up into the eighty seven to eighty eight dollar range. That's that's the target that I'm looking for. That kind of account would be confluent with if this is a big AB and we're going up for a C. Um, that kind of account would would be confluent with that. So if this is A, B, and C, we bring our price targets over there. Uh, let me bring the chart down so we can see it. Uh, we would be coming up here to the $92 range, to $87 range to the $92 range. So in this range is where we'd be coming up. Uh, we can see that we have a major structure line here. Uh, let me draw a couple other structure lines here so that we can, here's a major area of structure there. Um, this is a major area where, see where I have the most touches? That's what I look for. I look for places with the most touches. So we've got a, touches, a lot of touches there, a lot of touches here. Okay, and so uh, we're looking for price to be, you know, in this range, um, anywhere from $86 to $92 to, you know. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, <clears throat> if this is a one, two, three, four, five, and we're going up, so if that's the case, uh, that means... Um, uh, we're heading up above that would be our target would be above 100 and we'll make a new high um i i doubt that sincerely i i doubt that at this stage but i don't know and so we're going to watch and react here's what i do know i think we're coming up here look for a bounce down here look for an entry point that might be a good entry entry for a long trade um it, this thing may come down to the structure area and bounce or this structure area and bounce so watch for that uh if it comes down here and bounces that's a good entry point that's a good one two boom and that's a fantastic place to get in so anyway i hope that helps you think about getting into a trade at least that's what i'm looking for if i'm going to get into a trade so if this comes down to the structure and bounces that's a great entry point um so what are we looking at? Well, I, I'm going to just start from this wave and measure this one and see what we've got here. We've got if we come down to, from here to there. Uh, if this is coming up for a three wave, we're looking at $6,300. Uh, that means our, our five wave is going to end up being here, probably up to this structure point, $6,500. Guys, that, that's 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 a likely scenario here for BTC. Now, whether we go down first and then come up to it, I don't know. Uh, but again, the market makers are bringing us up to the line, creating indecision. That indecision is creating a, a, a group of buyers and a group of sellers. Okay, when they take price higher, the uh, the buyers are going to be excited, and they're going to and and more buyers are going to jump in the sellers are going to get uh, freaked out and they're going to start buying to close their uh, to close their account and there's going to be a bunch of FOMO uh, and then finally after that gets exhausted uh, they're going to take price down quickly and trap trap a bunch of long trades up into this area they're going to trap you so you got to be ready to be out of the market so be ready to be out of the market we are coming down uh, my price my first price target is $4,800 um, that is, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna hit these structure points on the way down. You gotta understand, we're gonna bounce there. But my first major target is gonna be right here at this bottom structure point, forty eight hundred dollars. If we hit that, uh, we'll probably come up and make a uh, make a B. We'll come up for a rally and then go down again. And my gut is saying we're coming down. We from where this thing started, we're gonna square up right here. Uh, to this point, we are going to square up on that probably at $4,200. So that's my long-term target for BTC, $4,200. So if you're nervous about trading in this environment, you should be. It is a scary place in the market. It is a place of indecision. It is a risky place to be trading. Uh, that is what I'm communicating to you today. I hope that came through. But know this, we have a discount coming, and it's exciting. When that discount comes, guys, you need to be ready to take it.
All right. Hey, I hope that helps you. Uh, you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, it is uh, it is a, a beautiful day today, and uh, I hope uh, I hope you enjoy it and make the most of it. We'll talk to you another time, I suppose. Hey, would you do me a favor? Would you like this video? Would you subscribe? Share it. Uh, get get it out. All right. Talk to you later.